Good morning, it's Faye from Macon Manor in Macon, Mississippi. Like, where else would I be, right? And um, almost a couple hours ago, I was super early word, I got up to open up the house. Let me flip you around here. So here is looking out front from my foyer. And here's the main hall downstairs. Off to the right at the end of the hall is the service stairs and straight back beyond that is the mud room and back door area. I've also got uh, doors um, from the kitchen to the kitchen side porch and the door from the dining room that goes to this end of the big wraparound porch. And so it's really awesome uh, because the temperature, no matter how hot it gets during the day, when you get to around midnight to 1 a.m., it always takes a dramatic over 20 degree drop. And so when I get up early in the mornings, oh, it's so beautiful outside. It is so fresh and cool. So the first thing that I do every morning when I get up is I open the house up and within a minute, it just breathes and just soaks in all that beautiful fresh clean cool air right through the house and it's just such a pleasant thing as you can see and I know it's a mess out here everything is just chaos I was super excited um I got that small section prepped uh with the paint eater and I was able to put some exterior paint up I really am loving the palette. That's only four of the seven colors. It's going to be absolutely magnificent. The problem is it's a very time consuming process, especially with the amount of siding and windowsills and what have you that the wood is severely damaged on. Um, so it took a hot minute to accomplish that and then I had to stop where I did because of rain coming. I was a little bit depressed because I've got three to four days of rain starting this afternoon. I actually, it was supposed to originally start yesterday. I'm so upset about that because you know what? I would have knocked out a bunch of painting yesterday had I known it wasn't going to rain. But I had an epiphany this morning is that these big, beautiful, look how deep these porches are. And yeah, there's reclaimed wood everywhere. Here's pre uh, wainscoting. But. I've got these huge deep porches and look at this paint. It is just pitiful, just pitiful. And looking underneath it, I, I really think, cause I'm really surprised at just how bad, and these are protected areas. The, the weather does not shoot up under here and look at this. When you pull the paint off, just like off of the kitchen door um, and, and that it's like, I don't know what quality of paint they used, but I think the real killer here was poor prep work or quite possibly as I was cautioned, um, there wasn't enough days of dry out time allowed before the paint was applied. So the epiphany, I've got all these beautiful deep porches that cover a fair section of the main level of the house that over the next three to four days, even though it's gonna be raining, I can work under here. And that is going to cover a lot of the main floor exterior footage when, when it comes to the painting. So I'm actually really excited about that. I don't, I do have a lot of prep work to do, although the paint eater machine makes it really super easy. And the bigger hassle, honestly, is gonna be moving all this stuff um because the wood is laid flat for a reason um so i'm gonna have to shift it away from the house to where i've got room to work plus i don't want to risk getting any of the acrylic paint on any wood that is being repurposed and refinished for use inside the home but anyway so that's where i'm at it's a glorious morning I'm um, waiting for my little birdbath fountain to start. I guess it's not quite light enough yet. But it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. I enjoy the mornings out here so much. Best move of my life. Best move of my life. 
So happy Monday morning, y'all. And let's see what trouble I get up into today. <laughs> Toodles. <laughs>